Dr. Joseph Robert Love. Born in the Bahamas in 1839, he was first a teacher and eventually went to the United States, Florida, where he took orders in the Episcopalian Church to become a clergyman. Then he moved to Buffalo, New York to attend a medical school at UB, the University of Buffalo. According to the Uncrowned Community Builders, he was the first verified African American to graduate from the medical school at UB on February 25th, 1880. After graduating, he moved to Haiti and uh, was appointed to a high executive post in the medical department there. He returned in part to the church, performing duties as an Anglican ch clergyman, and soon became the rector of a church in Port-au-Prince. He departed Haiti in 1889, moved to Jamaica, where he started a re weekly newspaper called the Jamaica Advocate. That newspaper, the Jamaica Advocate, would go on to inspire Marcus Messiah Garvey at an early age. Later in life, Garvey would recall, Much of my early education in race consciousness is from Dr. Love. One cannot read his Jamaica Advocate without getting race consciousness. If Dr. Love was alive and in robust health, you would not be attacking me. You would be attacking him. Garvey also took elocution lessons from Dr. Robert Love, who at the time was uh, Jamaica's leading politician. Um, his his po political career, he uh, won the seat in 1906 on the Jamaica House of Representatives um, in, in, yeah, 1906. He also served as a chairman of the St. Andrew Parochial Board, as well as a Justice of the Peace in Kingston. He also public, published two books, Romanism is Not Christianity, and St. Peter's True Position in the Church, clearly traced in the Bible. In 1906, Love's health began to deteriorate, and by 1910, he had been forced to end his political career. He died on the 21st of November, 1914, and was buried in the parish yard at Halfway Tree near Kingston. Love's activism in favor of Jamaica's economically depressed black majority influenced later Jamaican and all Caribbean activists, including and especially Marcus Messiah Garvey who went on to eulogize him at a Liberty Hall meeting in 1914. So, we find that um, not only was he the first black person to graduate medical school here in Buffalo, he also was a major, major influence on Marcus Messiah Garvey. And um, like he said, anybody else who read The Jamaica Advocate or any of his works, um, Garvey's not the only one that credit Dr. Love as his mentor, but... Um, Obviously, as Garvey H., you know, we want to make sure we pick him up, especially here with the Buffalo Connection. So, again, shout out to the ancestor, Ashe to the Yagungun, Black History Every Day, not just during Black History Month, and unification is a must.